Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and welcome to my channel. We're painting the pumpkin patch with some fun little simple splattering, loose painted trees. Um, the pumpkin patch I talk about a long time. This is kind of a long video, but you know, sometimes it can't go that short. So I go over this step by step. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section so I can possibly answer them. I can't always answer every question. Um, if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please do so, so know, you know when my tutorial is up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, and also check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays every week. And on the la top tier, I have a live stream uh, for the super patrons and they get a uh, download also. And I'll be doing my live stream tomorrow actually. Um, so check it out up here. Boop. It's a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. So without further ado, let's get to the pumpkin patch. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I just, it's an eight by 10. I come, it comes in like a nine by 12 pad, but you know when you go to frame things, you don't find nine by 12 frames. So I just cut it down to like an eight by 10. I taped it down with scotch tape, just on a piece of thick cardboard. I have paper towel, my water jars are up here, and my paints, they're always listed in the description box, and I talk about how I use them as I go along. I kind of stick to these same colors. I mean, you can use just three, four colors. Decide how to make it easier. And brushes, I'll be playing around with them. I feel like I'm looking over, I'm thinking, hmm, I might be using like four or five brushes today. You know, I like to play around with a bunch of brushes. Um, maybe the 12 Princeton Neptune series, 12 and 10. Um, Princeton Velvet Touch series, eight and four. I might not even use all these. And I might even use this little cheap, I don't even know where I even got this brush. It's a, a half inch flat wash brush. I like the flat wash brushes just to get those sharp, excuse me, lines that go like this and up. You know, it's kind of fun to play around with a bunch of these. So for the pumpkin patch, I basically drew in I'll show you like that. Um, move this out of the way. You know, you're gonna take your piece of paper like so, and you're gonna figure out if you want just a straight line across. Mine's gonna kind of have like a little mountain kind of curving up. The trees we're gonna not even draw in because we're gonna wash them in and then put the branches in because that's the fun part. You figure the patch kind of goes like along the lines, like this way. So you have the pumpkins, you know, around them. So I'll have like a round, I won't show all of it, kind of like three quarters of the way pumpkin, right? And then you do the stem. So how you figure this out, do another circle and then put these lines coming downward because you're gonna be facing it. And you'll have another pumpkin here, do another pumpkin here. So you start off doing like a, kind of like an oval shape and do another circle here and then bring it down that will be the stem and then we'll have the ridges of the pumpkin and the bigger ones will be kind of in the front and then medium ones you know kind of place them here again you can put some of the stems going sideways and then smaller ones we'll just get really small in the back and then of course we'll have our trees but we're really just going to be painting these in and even these pumpkins, you know, we'll be just doing some simple little pumpkin shapes and washing and color. And that's what you want to do. You want to play around with that. So you get your basic shapes. I won't even, I mean, I kind of penciled mine in, but it's not necessary. It's really not. And you can start off by doing the pumpkin patch first, the sky first. I'm going to do the sky first. I always think it's easier to do the sky first. I don't know why. Um, so I'm going to grab my number 12 Princeton. Neptune series, put some water on it. I'm just gonna put some water going across here. Now, normally I would have the color that I want kind of going across first. I didn't do that, but that's okay. It's gonna work kind of fast here. So you might wanna mix your grays or your sky color first. I have a neutral tint here and ultramarine blue. Gonna mix some of that in there. And I'm gonna water this down because I want like a bluish gray sky, but I want it very light. So I'm adding more water as you see. 
A lot of water. All right. It's gonna dry lighter too, don't forget. I'll take it on my brush, put some up here, and then you can just kind of lean it like on a 45 degree angle. Just like there. I'm not gonna put it everywhere because I want my bright colored orange yellow trees. And you're not really gonna get that color. See, I'm mopping up some of it. I'll clean up my brush, tap it on paper towel, and I'll kind of mop up some of the areas. Let them kind of wash in the other areas. You wanna get a little darker up in the corner. Go back and add some of those same two colors, or whatever color you have. Get a little bit darker up in the top. So I'm adding that neutral tint and the ultramarine blue again. A little bit less water. Just putting in some deeper color. Voila. I don't want to mess with it too much down in here because we're going to be painting the pretty, well, maybe I'll put a little bit, a little streak. Why not? Um, yellows and oranges across with trees. You can lift up some of the paint if you don't like it. See, take your brush and use it like a mop. But once you clean it off, lift up some of this. There we go. Oh, my desk is making a mess. Okay, so once that's done, we're gonna let that dry on its own. Ta -da. I might clean up some of this down here. Okay, so we got the nice little mysterious sky. Now we're gonna work on our pumpkins. So let's mix up some color. So I like the big 12. I mean, I didn't necessarily need to use that brush. You can just stuck with the 10 if you didn't have a 12. You can just stuck with a few simple brushes, right? Just these three. Um, I'm gonna take the 10 and I'm gonna mix up colors. I'm gonna have some greens. You know, we, we already have the burnt umber here. We need greens, we need oranges, obviously. You don't need to have a brilliant orange. I had brilliant orange. You can make orange with magenta. Cadmium yellow deep. There you go. Bright orange. I put that same orange over here. Could add a little more yellow to it. Or I can just go ahead and grab some brilliant orange <laughs> and mix that in there too. So make this a little bit brighter and this a little lighter. And then for the greens, you know, I always like to make my Cabin Yellow Deep Peacock Blue for like a nice bright green. I mean, I don't think we're gonna be using this kind of bright green, but it's pretty bright. Put some over here. And I'll grab my Prussian Blue and mix that in with that. It gets a little bit deeper, right? Some brown, burnt umber. Got a deep dark green. We don't need this blue anymore. We might need some blue, but we'll mix that up there. Blue and purples for the shadows of the pumpkins. So you can take the com combination of these two and make a medium green. So I'll take the peacock blue and the yellow or blue and grab some of that darker green and get like a medium green and I'll add a little brown, a little brown. You just play around the different tones you have for the greens and we can be adding um, other colors to the greens as they're, you know, put down. So we're gonna be doing, oh, I got magenta on there. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, right? Splatter of paint. Okay. I'm this brush so it doesn't make that noise. All right, so I penciled in my, my uh, pumpkins like I talk about. I'm gonna erase some of it because I don't wanna see any pencil lines. I left my needed eraser. Doesn't have any shavings. Okay, so we're gonna putting in just a wash of like nice orange color in some of these. Now the sun is coming this way. So it's gonna be lighter on the side of this pumpkin here. My 
My brush is a little dirty when I clean it off. Pick that brilliant orange with some yellow. I want like a nice bright light brown. There we go. So I'm just gonna put in this orange color here. I have that little stem if I paint it over it, don't worry. So put in the basic orange color around all the areas that are going to have orange, leaving the stem. Just doing this fast and loose. Just to give you an idea. As we get out to the other part of the patch, I'm going to get even looser. I don't want you guys to get bogged down in making it so perfect. All right, I'm just going to work on some of these simple ones. Just putting in the orange, just like this. That's why it's good to work with a bigger brush. So I'm grabbing more of the other orange that I have. So we're going to do a, um, a shadow technique that's not wet on wet where it's bleeding into the color. We want to see the harsh lines. We want to see the hard edges. So I'm still kind of filling in some loose orange paint here. Don't worry if it's not a perfect circle. This is just a loose little pumpkin patch. Just kind of placing in where the arm pumpkin's going to go. My reference. See how they're getting smaller and kind of like really, I'm just kind of simply putting in the pumpkins. I'm not making sure they're perfectly round. You make yourself kind of crazy. See, I'm just going to put the orange in first just to figure out where are my pumpkins going to go. How many do I have? Really just kind of going fast here. You get more technical with the ones in the front. Technical in the front, party in the back. <laughs> okay. And I'll do like, maybe another one here. I have another one creeping way out here. Okay. So that's that's as that's drying, I'm gonna stop playing with the greens, right? And the patch doesn't have to necessarily have to be green. You can put in some nice brown, like tan color. So I've got the burnt umber here, mixing up up here. I grab some yellow. So we're gonna be doing some wash of that color too. Don't be afraid. That's what I mean by that taking this brush, you want to think in terms of going sideways, up and down, right? Like just taking it loose, that yellow mustardy color. See, I'm just kind of loosely painting it sideways in here. Maybe do some spritz right there. If you want to get even, um, technical with like the, the, the pumpkin patch kind of row, you can start to do that too. So I have ultramarine blue here, it's up here. I'm gonna add a teeny bit of magenta, so it's a little purple-ish. And then I'll add some burnt umber. I want this purple bluish kind of tinge, pinkish bluish purple tinge. I'm adding a little more magenta. Here we go. So it's like a pink purple and adding some brown. I'm going to really water that down. So in my patch, I could put figure out like the land area. It's kind of go like this in between the pumpkins. Right? And 
And same thing with a little mustard. So I'm putting a little mustard in some of these. Now you could do a land area, so if it's a, you know, if it's like walking down pumpkin patch, it could be beige, it could be tan, you think like, like you know, like stone or ground color. So you're mixing in some browns here. Just giving myself the line of sight of where the patch kind of turns into the walkway. As you make, I don't know if you would call it a walkway necessarily, but in between the patch and the grass. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab some of these greens, right? We mixed in some of that mustardy color. We're gonna be mixing in some greens. I start off with the light green and I can build from there. Put some light greens in here, just around the pumpkins. See, I'm just kind of tapping, taking the brush, going on the side, next to it, kind of putting some paint. We're going to build up the colors to this. It's just really loose. Okay. Keeping that light and bright. Taking this. You can use the tip of this number 10. Make some grass. Just like that. Let me see if this is... The lighting, it seems so odd. Hopefully you can see it. See, so I'm just taking that tip of the brush. And then we can grab some of the really dark green, right? And the medium greens. Start putting that in between. Around our pumpkins. Because remember, they're in a patch. <laughs> now the patch could be more of green tones. Could have more of the um, the rustic, mustardy brown tones if you want to have that kind of look. And we're just going to keep building up. I'm adding some darker greens around the pumpkin. Again, you can put some little sprays. Here's that mustard color. Because the patch could be going from green to that that time of year where the, the grass is now brown. So you can wash up some little sprays of gra um, yellow kind of dried grass. So I'd like to just work in tandem with adding in some green. around the pumpkin. I had that brown rustic kind of color. Can add some of that medium green. We're gonna build. See it doesn't it's not gonna be like this fast quick. I keep grabbing the different greens. Get a little darker around my pumpkin. Some lighter ones. Darker ones in front, darker ones on the back side of the pumpkin. Listen, don't worry if it seems goofy and it's not working out. You're just gonna keep grabbing different color greens, some browns, going around. You don't wanna really get all over the pumpkin. Take that tan color. Grabbing that mustardy tan color up here. Some deeper green. Mustard and deeper greens. You want the deeper greens to kind of be on the left side of each pumpkin. See, I'm kind of putting the darker green on that side. I'll keep building up. The pumpkins are really light. So you can go back in and uh, make the pumpkins a little bit darker. I've got my brilliant orange here. Let's make some little amber with that. They get a little light. So you can go back in and add another wash of color. 
to brighten them up. You see how I did mostly dark on this left side? I can add in some of those lines, the pumpkin, and keep that really light orange color right out here on the outer edge. If it still seems way too light, you can go back in and make this the light color and play around with adding even deeper color. Like I feel like it's really washed out, so I might go back in and just add this orange color. It's too light. It's gonna dry lighter again. See, that's why you keep building up to it. All right, I went back in and washed in another orange tone that was a little bit darker because you can see it better, obviously, now. And then you get even dark again. You add a little more magenta. I add a little magenta, a little burnt umber. I get a little bit darker. Go back in and grab a little brown on my tip of my brush. A little red. And you just add little lines. You know, you saw before. You can add the deeper, darker hue of the orange. And that one side here. See, I'm just going to take in the tip of my brush. It's kind of washing in. So you just do a line, a line, a couple of lines, and then kind of make this color all go on that one side. And we can even get darker still on that. It just needs to be another deeper tone of orange. So you'll be adding some a little bit of red to it, magenta, whatever you have. It's a little still wet, so I'm gonna have to wait till it dries to go in to add the lines. So just a little bit darker orange again. So mine kind of blurred out here because it was still wet. So you go back in here and you just fill in with the brush. I'm still using the number 10. Just want to get a little bit darker on this left side again. Now I might go in here on this pumpkin, add some brown on some neutral tint, and add a little shadow. See how dark that got? And you take some of that green too. More of the brown, because don't forget the green's turning into the, the brown grass. I get some dark green grass in here. Front. Still have some medium color greens too. So that's what I'm saying. You're playing around with adding in some medium greens and some light greens. Gonna make some more light green. Just getting really loose going around here. Now I'm gonna to start to add in the color for the row. So I'm just dry brushing in some dark, light, excuse me, light bright green in here. Up over in here too. And I started to do it here, like you say, with that color. I think I'm gonna do more on the blue. You can start off doing like some beige here and adding some more blue tones. Going in and having this like olive -y kind of green. Just kind of putting in some more greens, as you see here. Don't be afraid to play around with it. I'm going to take some peacock blue and add it to that green. I'm building this up. It's going to be a loose patch. It's not going to be this perfect look. See, I'm grabbing that dark green that we mixed. I can even just take some Prussian blue on the tip of my brush. See that? And it's going to make it even darker and just kind of put it out here. Some of the shadows kind of peeking through. See that Prussian blue? Just right on the tip of my brush. Got even some brown. Blue and brown right here, like a little deep shadow. That darker color underneath that pumpkin is just going to make it feel like the sun's really hitting it, you know? So I'm grabbing some of that noodle tool tint, Prussian blue, and just going right down here on the other side, and highlighting, just going around this, the round part of the pumpkin here and then on the side. And same thing down here. 
push some blue and some brown. And you'll really see that pumpkin come to shape. It just comes to life, right? You see how it just like the sun's coming at it. So you're gonna do that. Just take the tip of your brush. See, I'm just grabbing some. I just grab at the same time on the brush. And then here and there, you can put some, the tip of your brush, little wisps, like dark grasses. Again, grab some Prussian blue out here. Just going on the left side, kind of going out here. You can put little kind of washes of tapping some of that dark color out here. So it gets the feel of the sun hitting it again here. Yeah. A little bit more here. All right. I digress. So I'm going to go and do that field part. And I had like the magenta with some brown. I'm going to grab some uh, ultramarine blue. So it's kind of like a purple color, but purple brown. Kind of washing. Eh, it's still too purple. I put a little more blue, a little neutral tint. You want this like bluish purple kind of tone. I'm gonna water that down, tap it on my paper towel so it gets off the excess water. I tend to like the purple blues for the shadows. So I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, I'm gonna water that color down. I think I'm gonna add a little more blue. It's a little too purple purple. So I'm gonna a little more blue. Don't be afraid of color, guys. So I'm gonna add that color in here. So I'm just gonna wash that color in. It's lighter than the other colors. And you can leave in some of it white. You don't have to wash the whole thing in. And as it dries, here I go again. Take the tip of my brush, grab ultramarine, some burnt umber. More ultramarine actually. A little bit of magenta. So you're getting this purple blue kind of color. Excess water. And for the shadows, put that color out here. See? Hold the brush like this. And I haven't used the flat wash brush. I don't know if I will, but it's still wet here, so it's gonna bleed. I kind of want a hard edge, so I'm gonna have to wait till it dries a little bit. I'll feel it's dry here, so I can do a hard edge here, see? The shadow in that would be the shadow part that's in the row. And it would be kind of like up top here. And not down here. Sometimes you do want those hard edges. Okay. Okay, so this point I'm gonna talk about just zooming in here and doing, I'm not gonna do every pumpkin. This is when you might take the number four brush or number eight brush, and we're gonna do our little stem. So burnt umber, add some yellow, like a nice like tan brown. I might add a little neutral tint to that. And then you would do the stem here. And the pumpkin stem coming down and some of these you can see it here and here okay so then I'm not going to show all of it but and then you would go in and take the neutral tint or black whatever have a deeper color so I've mixed neutral tint with some brown so it's like a black brown and you're just going to do some simple so take the brush, the line, kind of highlight around that stem, just like that, going down. So you're going just down the left side and going down. You can add a little couple of ridges if you want to. I wouldn't get so technical because the whole painting is supposed to be loose and then it's gonna look kind of strange, right? Also at the same time, 
we can go back in with this deeper reddish orange or brownish orange but I would do more red red brown orange and get in some of those lines that we didn't do not a lot just a few just for the detail you don't want to do a whole bunch because then it's just going to look fake let me see this one here again just a few the ridges here you see where I'm going with this and then you can kind of wash this down and use the same color Again, you can get even deeper with your orange. These pumpkins in the front will have more attention. Pumpkins in the back will have less. You'll see less of the ridges. You can put them in. You know, you can put some in. See, I'm putting some in. That deeper color. But don't get crazy. And again, with the pumpkin stem, Kind of dark on that one side. Now see here's, I didn't have any paint in here. I'll just go back in here and I'll fill it with that green, some of those greens that I have. Green, brown. Because it's gonna be darker in the shadow of all this nonsense going on. Same thing here. Now at this point you could use this brush to wisp out some like really deep. I'll take the neutrals hint and I'll just give me a little bit of water that was too dry. Wisp out some just simple little grasses here and there. Not everywhere. A little bit here and there. Right? You don't want this stuff to go everywhere because then it looks, again, fake and goofy. See? I'm just going to mix that. I'm just making the little, with the number four brush, taking that color, and just every now and then just bring out some of those grasses and the dark tone. You can highlight a little deeper if it just washed away, you know, your pumpkin. But you really, over here, you just kind of just do like a little dot too, or here and there. You don't want to be doing showing those grasses way out here. It wouldn't make sense. Just do some dry brush with this brush. The grasses you would kind of see in the front. And I'm putting in some darker tan color along the side of the stem here. I might go back in and add some bright green right in here. You can come over it if it's like concentrated, the color, the watercolor. Look at that. I'm going over it and it's almost like wash, you can see that over that dark area with the light color. You see that? So we've got our patch basically done. Now the trees, at this point, you can go and add some browns and some, you know, whatever colors you want. You don't have to add the trees. If you want to just keep a patch, I'm gonna go add a little brown kind of tone colors back here. Just a little bit deeper. A little dry brushing, holding a brush on its side, and then you could put in some grasses. Now, we're just going to do some really simple trees. And see, I'm taking this brown, and I can go in here, all over in here, too, kind of fill in those areas with some nice tan grass, even down here. But we want to keep our patch loose. We don't want to have it to me, you know, I don't want it to be contrived. I want it to have some kind of fun to it. I'm adding a little browns in here. Go back and kind of fill it in a little bit. That's our patch. <laughs> the trees. Will I ruin it with the trees? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see, right? 
Now we can just do a little loosely yellow. I've got the bright yellow here. I've got the orange, brilliant orange. That's too bright, right? Always add a little brown or some other kind of neutral neutralizer to it. And I'll add a little brown to the yellow. Just changes it. And then we've got brown with green in here. That will change it also. Now we can make the fuzzy trees. Just kind of put in some loose trees. So I'm just going to grab that paint, a lot of water on it. We're just going to wiggle. See, I'm just wiggling with my brush, leaving some spaces, some loose trees. And we'll build up with that and we'll add some, you know, of the tree trunk. Just thought it'd be fun to do this. Really loose kind of fun. See, I'm grabbing more water. I'm going over this. You can grab some orange at this point. Some brown, some green. Don't be afraid to put green in there because you know some of the trees aren't even actually fully um, colored yet. I know in my area, still a lot of green. So I'm washing in some orange and some green. You can just take your brush and kind of tap out some tiny little leaves out this way. Get a little deeper and darker under the undercarriage area here, over here. Now, if you want to distinguish that they're, they're separate trees, I'd wait till that dries and go and do another layer on top. You know, right now you're blending in the tree. It's fine. And we could have made smaller trees too. But this is just like, a fun little exercise. It doesn't have to be a serious, realistic tree. You know, going to add in greens, add some browns. I want you guys to have fun playing around. Everybody wants, everybody wants to make everything so serious. I don't believe in things like that. All right, so I'll play around with that. And you say to yourself, why did you touch it with the trees? I wanted to. I wanted to be fun. And I'll add some more yellow. Now I was gonna do tree trunks just kind of going here, but I don't know. Now I'm like, hmm, but I have it all go to the ground. I could do that. <laughs> As I paint, you know, I paint intuitively, guys, so I changed my mind. And it happens. So I could theoretically play around with adding deeper green in the front. You know, I'll get some neutral tint going here. Let's see if I like that. Hmm. Somewhat. I can throw in some birch trees. I don't know. We'll play around with that. I wouldn't put it everywhere. Water it down. Adding some trees here. It's kind of how I like to work. And you might say to yourself, what did she do? She messed it all up. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe I can just go back in and move that. See? Let's see what happens. Adding the light color green and maybe some yellow. All right, I'm not gonna fuss too much. I'm gonna let that dry and then come back and do like another layer and then we're gonna be done. And we're gonna add the branches and whatnot. Okay, once that's dry, you wanna go back in and add like almost realistic looking 
leaves. I like to do a dry brush technique. So you get the paint in your brush. You kind of like hold it on its side. I'm still using the number 10. See, I'm grabbing the paint this way. I'm going to go yellow. Really kind of concentrate it. I'm tapping the paper top, it's too wet. I'm just kind of rolling it. See how I'm just rolling it? Roll, roll. And you'll see, because this paper has a tooth to it. Let me grab some of this. I mean, you could go in and just go in and take your brush and make yourself crazy by making little leaves. But an extra step, an easy step. Just kind of ro rolling the brush on its side. I'm just gonna grab some of all these colors. Grab the yellow. See, just kind of rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> Like I said, you could go in and you could just kind of like tap in some really simple leaves too. Which is nice also. Let's get that orange color, bright orange. I like both techniques to play around with it. You could make yourself crazy trying to paint all these little leaves though. You would, and you can splatter also. If you were gonna splatter, make sure you cover the pumpkin patch, right? So I'll grab some orange, some brown, play around with that, and I've got the yellow here. And you can splatter, and that will create some nice fun little leaves too. A little more bright orange. Just get right in there. Splatter that color while some of it's still wet and it will bleed. And you grab the brown. Make sure you cover your patch though. Cause that's gonna make a mess on your patch. And you could splatter on your patch too, by the way. We didn't do that, but I didn't wanna do that. This brush has so much orange pigment on it. I'm gonna grab some green. Make it realistic. Yeah, the many colors. Got that lime green, bright green going. Add some green over here. Let's see how this looks. Fun, right? <laughs> like I said, you could have split a little bit of green. I wouldn't do too much on your patch a little bit down here. And now you're just going to be doing like all the little details. Um, I might add, and this is a long video, but I might add some, like I said, a little more darker browns. And I'm going to add in the, tr the branches. We're using them before again. We'll take the neutral tint, water that down, and we have a little brown to that. And we'll add some trees, the branches, see? Now, the ones in the background would be really like pale, pale, pale gray. The ones in the foreground would be more black. Have them come out here. You might want to wait till all the splatter dries, but I'm just showing you guys real quick. See, adding the branches. This part is so much fun, I find, because it's like therapeutic. Get a couple of nice deep ones in here. Then you go out here. And put in your branches. I 
like I said, put a couple of nice dark ones. Not everywhere. It's fun to paint branches sometimes. I'm going to paint here. So we've got our trees with our pumpkin patch. And I would do like some shadows next to the trees. So I'll grab some brown, burnt umber, and some neutral tint. And just, again, dry brush. You can put the shadow of the tree coming this way. The sun's hitting it. Just down on an angle like this. Down on an angle. And then same thing with your little pumpkins too. Just a little dark here. You can grab some in the dark green. Play around with that. And again, like I said, all in here, wisp up some grasses in here. All that good stuff. Okay, guys, once that's all done, we're going to lift up our tape. This is my favorite part, by the way. Always want to lift up the tape. Let's see what we have. It's like an instant frame, right? Voila! <laughs> so that was a fun little pumpkin patch. Now, I would go back in to some of these trees, like I said. I can add some more, like, light Pale gray trees in the background. Really pale. They'll dry lighter. So it looks like there's more trees in there. You know, it makes more sense. Um, but that's something you can play around with. Adding all the little trees. You can have fun all day long doing this. So this is quite the long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial is up. Thank you guys so much for being subscribers and anybody else who's on my Patreon. I appreciate it very much. Take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.